Contestants, wait a minute, what's going on up here? Wait a minute. I have to fix my fro. All right. Am I live? Am I live? Is this thing on? It took a long time for it to connect. What the hell going on right here? Let me see. Let me fix that right there. All right, that's better. All right, let me fix this up right here. We're going to fix that right there. Halo! Steve's court. Yes. We're going to do this thing. We're getting a, a little bit of a late start. Had some technical issues. Was trying to pull was trying to pull my contestants in, and it is not working. No contestants tonight. Um, I need two faces. When y'all come on, please make sure you got your technical stuff going right. And uh, I need two faces. I need two faces. Don't just come on, oh, I got the voice. No, I need your face. Face. I'm sorry. I go. I'm going to take it out on my gavel. Um, but that's what I need. I need to see your face. Divas Court session number seven. Session number seven. We got some good stuff going on tonight. We are getting into some history tonight. We're getting into some history tonight. We're going through it. We're going to make put some facts out there. Some of y'all are going to be surprised about this history. Some of y'all are going to be upset. I'm just going to put the facts out. And you go and do your own research. We put the facts out. Uh, I'm feeling a little aggressive tonight. Just a little bit. I'm messing up my little camera rig here. Because I'm a little aggressive. We're going to have some fun tonight. I'm giving away. A $50 love note to somebody. 50 bucks. $50 love note. Giving away an ounce of elderberry. The love note comes from UNA. UNA love notes. That's UNA. Now, that's not Una. Now, the other day I said, <clears throat> and a brother, <laughs> a brother sent me an inbox. I said, Una, it's UNA, not Una. All right? Now, I know in Spanish, Una or Uno means one and una is the feminine of uno and he says it means one mind and then i said una means united nations from america and he says well you just turned around and said una okay but it's una all right una oh i'm sorry i'm a little bit aggressive today sorry let me fix that back up sorry about that all right we're going to get into this. We also have five $25 restaurant certificates to give away. Five $25 restaurant gift certificates to give away, courtesy of our friend Shali. Shali. And also, we have um, an ounce of elderberry dried fruit. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Let's come from my friend Atum. Elderberry dried fruits. This is our special gift. Um, one ounce of elderberry dried fruit. Look at that. Look at that elderberry dried fruit right there. Y'all see that? Yeah, I want my contestants. However, I want two... <clears throat> two faces. I want two faces. I don't want a voice and a face. And plus, I need the audio corrected. So when we get that done, we in the house. So let me know when you can get that done. I want two faces, two audios, three audios. Everybody to hear me. 
Diva. Let's do this thing. We're ready to get it started. Now, once again, giving away one $50 love note tonight, giving away an ounce of elderberry from our friend uh, Atum. I'm giving away five $25 restaurant certificates from my friend Shali. All right. So, um, this good stuff. Good stuff we got tonight. We are going over history. This is some stuff y'all have not been told. Y'all want to pay attention. We're going to test, test your knowledge. Uh, we're going over the SF-181 form. Oh, that's going to be good. We're going over this um, Iroquois Confederacy. Uh, we're going over uh, this Constitution, United States versus uh, uh, United States of America. What's the difference? What is the What's the difference? All right, we're going to talk about it. We're getting into it tonight, going over history. I'm just giving you facts. Don't be mad at me. Go look it up. I'm giving you facts. Don't be mad at me. Go look it up. But I'm going to test your knowledge. These are laws. This is, this is history and where all these laws come from. If y'all ready to do it, halo, halo, halo. Diva, let's do it. Diva's court. All right, we in this thing. We are in this thing. All right, here we go. Uh, you know, forgive my aggression tonight. I'm just, you know, I wanted my contestants. What'd you say? Do it again, UNA. Uh, because I didn't see it. All right, let's get into this thing. Um, all right, history. History. I, I want to see where I want to go first. All right, I want to start here. We're going to talk about uh, the U.S. versus the United States of America. So for those of you all who have not been with us before on Divas Court, let me break it, break it down, down. What we're going to do is I want, I'm going to, well, I want, if you got two faces, I'm good, you and they, give me two faces. If I can't get two faces, then, you know, and plus I need the audio because they couldn't hear me. So I'm just, I'm sorry, talking in the background. I can't. So here we go. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go for 10 minutes. I'm going to go for 10 minutes and then I'm going to ask some questions based on what I have spoken on. All right. This is the history. I'm just giving you facts. And then you get a chance to answer based on the facts. All right. We're going to do this. Ready? All right. So here we go. Uh, if I get 10 minutes, 10 minutes on this thing. So we're going to talk about uh, the first part of history we're talking about. Uh, United States versus the United States of America. All right. And this is going to deal with the Constitution. So here we go. What we got is uh, going back to um, the United States. Really, uh, hold on for a sec. I don't want to start there. Nope, I'm not starting there. Oh, I'm going back. I'm going to go back. What time? Yeah, okay, I'm going to the other side. Give me 10 minutes because I'm going from the history dealing with matriarchy versus patriarchy. Go in there, and then we're going to take it up. Let's do it. Now, here we go. Let's talk about this. For those of us who don't know, um, the original order on this planet, the original order on this planet was matriarchy. Matriarchy came before patriarchy. All right? Now, some of you are going, what, huh? How did that happen? Originally, the woman was, and I'm talking about the copper-colored woman, was the one who ran everything. She owned everything, all of the land, all of the riches, all of the wealth, all of the knowledge, all of the education that was in the hands of the carbonated woman, all of it. How do we know this? Well, when we... First of all, do research. We understand that patriarchy is new to the planet. These are facts. Look it up. Patriarchy is new to the planet. 
also what we want to understand, even when we look, there are certain places that we can look that give clues uh, about the fact that the woman was the one who originally ran everything. And we're going to talk about some of those. One is the Bible. The Bible, when we're talking about the names of this God, and when you go and look up uh, what those names were, because, of course, where you see God, everywhere you see God, there originally was a name there. When you go and look up those gods, what you're going to find are feminine names. Feminine names. That's just one. Also, when we look um, the Iroquois Confederacy, which we're going to get on. Iroquois Confederacy. That's another one that gives clues to the fact that the woman was the one who ruled and owned everything. Another way, when we understand etymology and we understand what the term Mason means and why a Mason's organization came into being, no, oh, that's a very clear clue. So let us break some things down, down. We're going to break it, break it down down mason what does it mean when we understand etymology and y'all take notes we understand we have may or ma meaning mother son meaning offspring of the mother my son why why did the masons come into being in the first place what what happened with that well, again, it was the woman who had all of the riches and the knowledge and the wealth. And she, as I said before in many of my sessions, she was being disrespectful to the male. The male was not supposed to be a being um, that is what, what we have in mass today. He wasn't. I won't go into that, but I'm just letting you know. The reason why Masons came into effect is because it was the mother teaching the son all of the esoteric knowledge that deals with the basis of this dimension. Why is it that the Bible teaches or, or, or used to have the terms, uh, 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 the feminine gods in there? Why were they feminine? Well, because it was their scriptures. They come from the carbonated woman. So that's what we have to understand. The woman, those are her scriptures. And what happened was the male took those scriptures and wrote her out of her own contract. Remember, the Bible is a contract. The Bible is a contract. It is a set of laws. All right, those are your clues. Iroquois Confederacy, let's talk about this. When we look at the Iroquois Confederacy, what you clearly understand as soon as you read it, and by the way, you can go and find that document uh, at uh, UNA, or as, as a matter of fact, uh, amaxpro.com forward slash Diva Lurie. That's capital D-I-V-A, capital L-Y-R-I. Amax Pro, A-M-A-X-P-R-O dot com forward slash Diva Larie, capital D, capital L. When you go there, what you're going to find is the Iroquois Confederacy. When you read the Iroquois Confederacy, you clearly see where the foundation of the Constitution comes from. The original people. And that was the Iroquois Confederacy. All right? And so let's understand some things as I speak on that. I have a few more minutes. Uh, you're going to find the foundation of the Constitution. What am I talking about? Everything is in threes in the Constitution. Judicial, uh, legislative, executive. 
Same thing in the Iroquois Confederacy. In threes, uh, the way Congress is set up comes from the Iroquois Confederacy. Read it and you're going to quickly understand that the original people had already established a government before any European came in because that Iroquois Confederacy goes back way before the 1700s, way before the 1600s. In, in the Iroquois Confederacy, what you're going to see is a clear statement that the only way a male had a position or has a position or can take a position is if he goes through the mother. And in the Americas, those were clans, not tribes, but clans. And if there was a male in a position, he only got that position by going through the mother, the woman, the female, the matriarch. Why? Because it also clearly states she is the one who owned all of the land. Furthermore, when we look at all of the Americas, from north of Canada to south of Antarctica, below Argentina, the land is in land patents in the name of the carbonated woman. Land patents are in the name of the carbonated woman to this day. So in this land, a male cannot truly own land here. That's not a disrespect. Those are the facts. Those are That's the history. Those are the laws. This is why when we're talking about clerks and clerks of courts and all of this, by law, they're supposed to be female. Female. By law, because it is the woman that is supposed to rule. When we're talking about counties and clans and nations, there's supposed to be a matriarch at the head. Oh, some of y'all ain't liking this history, huh? Mm. Look it up. All right. So, in understanding that, um, Good. Just want to make sure. Do I have time? I have one more minute. All right, good. Um, again, also, I spoke about how the Iroquois Confederacy, uh, again, was originally a document that was passed down by word of mouth, and it governed clans from as far north as Canada to as far north south as um, Texas, for sure, and likely further. But it, get, it governed all of the clans. So what I want to make sure I say before we get out, of, before I finish this session, um, is that when they tried to make the original people of the land out to be um, savage or um, uh, not knowing how to build, they already had a government here. They already had uh, all kind of buildings and castles and governments established roads or what have you they already had that here before any europeans came in again remember the original people and we're going to get into the difference between the original people and other uh melanated people that came into this land but there is a difference and we need to understand what that difference is and i'm just giving you the facts you go look it up and you decide for yourself uh they were not savage they had already established governments and buildings and roads and towns and all of that. And the Iroquois Confederacy is a clear indication and understanding of that. All right.
for those of you all who are still with me and not pissed off at me about this history that I'm giving you. Let's do this, Steve's Court. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, Are y'all ready? Did y'all hear what I said? Is this thing working? Is my audio working? Because this is just the first part of the history session. Thank you, Sky. I love this, too. Who else is in the house? May, hey, low. Oh, the volume is low? Testing, one, two. I don't know how to turn the volume up. It just... It just works sometimes. Can can y'all hear me okay? Uh, pyramids, Scott. Yes, I'm not getting into the pyramids today. Was it a trust? Donnell, was what a trust? Oh, I ain't asking questions on this. All right, are y'all ready? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll try to come back and answer. Is it low? Doggone it. Uh... I have no idea how to turn up the audio. I don't know how to do it. Let me see. Oh, you hear me loud and clear, Shelly? Okay. All right. Y'all stop messing with me. Order. Order. Messing up my rig. All right. So here we go. Uh... Let's do this thing. Now, as I spoke about the first question, and unfortunately I didn't I wasn't able to connect with my uh my my contestants, but I'm still giving away these gifts. I'm still giving away $50 love notes. I'm still giving away these elder bears. I'm still giving away these $25 gift certificates. I'm gonna give it away, give it away, give it away now. All right. Uh what is the etymological breakdown of Mason? First three answers, the etymological breakdown of Mason. First three answers, where you at? Make it right. If it's not right, make it right. Justin, no. Paul, no. Whiting, L. Somebody, does anybody want this gift? Break it down, uh, Whiting. I want to break down. Don't just, y'all, and I'm going to, y'all get ready to start speaking, like y'all speaking in complete sentences. Break it down. Y'all heard what I just said? Thank you, Lita. Well, Lita, you a matriarch, but that's good. In the no, Paul, I said I need y'all to write in complete sentence, make it clear. Who else do I have? Halo, Kathleen. I ain't said nothing. Justin, you just barely got that. I, but I'm gonna give it to you, Justice. Does anybody want to play today? Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Y'all write in complete sentences because I am not just taking anything today. I'm in my aggressive mood. Y'all better be on point. Next question. Next question. Um, name the three documents that I spoke about. Or the three, the three, uh, not documents, but the three different terms that show that the woman was the one who was originally in power. Name the three entities that I spoke about that show 
that the woman was originally in power. Who want to get it? First three people. First three, is, is, is this thing? First three people. Thank you for that pen, you and they. You can, you can take it down. Uh, all right, so the first, okay, you know what? Who who wants to get this? I just saying I they not getting it. Who want I've named three three different entities that show that the woman was running it. Give me give me one person who has it. Who has it? Who has it? Anybody who has it? I gave them time to get in here. Who has it? And if nobody want, I'm. I think I'm ready to go big for somebody who answers this question. I'm ready to go big for somebody who answers this question. You mean to tell me nobody has it? Ooh wee, Whitey. Mm mm mm. I almost fell in love with you. Mm-mm, May. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Donnell, you late. You late to class, Donnell. You late to class. <laughs> Told y'all I'm feeling aggressive tonight, Donnell. And all you other people late. How you late when I was late? I was late, so you won't be late. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> just oh, give me give me one person who's got it. Who else? Uh, nobody else has it. Mm, mm, mm. The only person who got that was May, and uh, Whiting, you were so close. Uh. It was the Iroquois Confederacy, Mason, and the Bible. You were close, Whiting. What did Whiting say? Hold on, I'm trying to find out. Whiting, you were so close. Iroquois Confederacy, the older Bible, and land patents. Close. But. I'm gonna put you. I'm. I'm gonna put that aside because I like. Thank you, Whiting, for being here. Because, you know what? I can't say land patents are wrong because I spoke about the land patents, and those land patents definitely do show. Thank you. I think. I think I like you, Whiting L. Johnny. Uh, give me one second. Just because you were here on time and you paid attention, I should pay you. I don't know how much. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm writing this down. All right. Next question. Next question. Um, who who is it? How far back? All right. What what was the what was the foundation? Where did the rules and the laws in the Constitution come from? Where did it come from? Where the rules and the laws in the Constitution come from? First three people. First three people. Rules and the laws of the Constitution, where do they come from? Thank you, Eric. Uh, Eric. I appreciate it. But I have a question here. Where did the rules and the laws in the Constitution, where were they derived from? Where did they come from?
Thank you, L. Jaredon Bay. We sure do love you and appreciate you. Uh, Shelly. What? That was, Shelly, no. Thank you, Justice. Thank you, Donnell. Whiting, Justice, and Donnell, thank you so much. Uh, nice. All right. So Justin, Justice have two. Has Justice has two. Oh, Whiting has two. All right. Whiting, you also you you cooking with Crisco Whiting? Hold on. Good Kenny Scott M. Ja. No, did you, Justice, did I just see Justice say the cosmos? I'm about to give you a negative point, Justice. What you talking about? You had to answer right, and then you go, well, well, Kenny, the Bible, no. No. All right, so. Now. Um, Mr. This is what I want to know. Uh, when we're talking about, I think this is going to be a true false. True or false. Mr. Johnny Davis Jr. Can legally be clerk of a court, clerk of uh, the county. True or false. True, false. Who's got it? First three people. First three people. <laughs> yes, Scott. I said negative point. True, false. Oh, I'm sorry. And why? I'm sorry. I meant to say. Is that true, false, and why? True or false, and why? I'm sorry. I meant to make that too. Try it again, y'all. Real quick. True, false, and why? Tell me why. True, false. Why? What you say, Whiting? You typing too fast. I said, okay. <laughs> All right, Whiting. I got you. Good, May. Good, Shali. Scott, I love you. Hey, Scott. Good job. All right. All right, MJ, hello, hello, Paul. All right, so uh, that was uh, Whiting, Shali, Scott. All right, so Whiting has three. Justice, I don't know how many points you got after that last set. However, you have two. I'm going to not give you a negative point. Scott has two. So Whiting gets that. Whiting, yeah. Whiting wins that, and I'm, I still haven't forgotten about you, Whiting. Uh, Whiting, you win a uh, $25 restaurant certificate. Uh, all right. Good, good. All right, Reddit, y'all, y'all did, y'all did, you know, more or less. Y'all know y'all did good, except for that question number two. Y'all was missing in action. All right, so we're gonna get on this. Tina says she came before Whiting. Let me see. Let me see, Tina. Tina, Tina is trying to uh, play with two G, and um, Tina, I'm going to see. Let me see. Where is Whiting? 
Let me see. Okay, there's Whiting. Let me see. Tina Foss. Tina, did you answer the whole question? No, you didn't. I'm sitting here looking at it. It says false, but it didn't say why. So, Tina, get the 2G fix. No, I'm just kidding. You didn't, you didn't get that one, Tina. Try again. We got another set. All right, next one is um, history. And this time we're talking about uh, the United States versus the state of America, the states of America. Um, I'm going to have to pull out another sheet. Uh, we're talking about the United States versus the United States of America. All right. So we're also talking about uh, Washington, D.C. We're talking about the Constitution for the states of America. Some of y'all are going to be surprised by this history. Uh, and uh, so, you know, y'all might, y'all might need to be seated. And uh, I'm just making notes real quick so I can get ready in constitution. Okay, so here we go. What time? Give me, give me ten minutes because we're ready to roll. All right, give me ten minutes. We rolling with it. All right, here we go. Now we're talking history, and we're talking about. When, what is the difference between the United States versus the United States of America? Now, let's understand that the United States of America, we're told, is a corporation. That's what it is. United States of America is a corporation, which was, uh, they, they we're told, incorporated in 1777. It was incorporated in 1777. The United States Corporation was incorporated in 1876. Here are some very important points about the United States versus the United States of America. The United States Corporation resides in Washington, D.C. Pay attention. It is a, it was formed by the Act of 1876. The United States Corporation also is owned by Britain. The United States Corporation is a democrat, democratic form of government. The United States Corporation, which all this I've been saying, is was created fraudulently to usurp authority from the United States of America. Usurp. Y'all look up usurp. That might be a question. The United States of America is a republic form of government. So when y'all walking around and running around, I'm a Democrat, I'm a republic. No, this is not the same. A democratic form of government is mob rule, meaning the fewer in number have no voice. A republic form of government means that your God-given rights are 
always protected. Now, let's talk about who owns the United States of America because we know that the United States Corporation is owned by Britain. Who owns the United States of America? See, I, this thing right here, 10 minutes, it does not give me enough time to really do this topic justice, but let's get on it. Um, I need to go into this because of the simple fact that um, when we look at the Articles of Confederation, which y'all should read sometime, the Declaration of Independence, which y'all should read sometime, the Constitution for the United States of America, which y'all should read sometime, Not one of those documents have the name of an original person or one of the original people of the Americas or what the land known as Americas. Not one of those documents have the title or the name of any of the original clans of the Americas. The only way you can have a legal document dealing with the land of the people is if the people of that land have signed that contract. The Articles of Confederation, nor the Declaration of Independence, nor the Constitution for the United States of America have any of the original people of this land that have signed it. Who did the United States of America really belong to? Oh, we're going to get into that because we're getting into history tonight. So when we look at this document, and I need to make this clear, the difference between the Constitution for the United States and the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution for the United States of America, the Constitution of the United States. Now, the Constitution for the United States of America deals with the Republic. That is the original Constitution. Constitution for the United States is the original Constitution. Constitution of the United States, that deals with the corporation. It was created in 1876. So let's understand this. When we're saying for, and when we're saying of, of means not of, like far from, away from. That's what of means. For meaning means of. That's how ass backwards this language is. Of means not of. For means of. What is Diva talking about? Well, let me try to explain it to you. Just like when you see the state of something, state of Georgia, state of, of means far from, not of it. So when we say the Constitution of the United States, that's not the original Constitution. That is the Constitution that was created in 1876, the fraudulent Constitution. The original Constitution was a Constitution for the United States of America. Let's make sure we keep that straight. Now, why is this important about who owned uh, the Americas? Because we're going to get into this on the next ses session that I do. How much time do I have? I think I have one minute. 
Do I am I good on time, you and A? When we look at uh what was going on back then and uh you know who was who, what we need to understand is we've been made to think that those who were writing the constitution were Albion. First of all, again, that constitution comes from the original people who were carbonated. It comes from the original people who were carbonated. Second of all, those who were in the land coming from the other places, these uh, uh, Europeans, they were melanated people. And we're going to talk about that in the next ses session. They were melanated, not Albion. The original Europeans were melanated who they were. When we, what we're talking about is a people who have come into the land and stolen land from the original people. And these were melanated people who enslaved the original people who created contracts outside of the authority of the original people because not one of the original people signed any of these documents dealing with this land that the world has come to know as the Americas. The Articles of Confederation, Declaration of Independence, Constitution for the United States, all are signed by Moors. Moors. But you're going to tell me, oh, no, but well, all of us the same because we all dark skin and we have that. Uh, no. No. And we're going to break it down. Because just because your skin is dark does not mean that you're the same people. There has been identity theft and it didn't just come from Albion people. we're going to get into it tonight. We doing history. Y'all ready? Diva. Diva's court. Let's do it. First question. Two parts. Two parts to this question. I want to know. I want to know. What year? Was the United States Corporation created and incorporated? And what year was the United States of America incorporated? I want clear English. Don't just put the thing up there and be like, oh, answer. No, I want United States of America. United States. I want to know. Make it clear. I'm going to say no. Kenny, no, what I say, Kenny not paying attention. Kenny not paying attention. And this need to be on the same line. Come on, Kenny, do chini chini. Everything needs to be on one answer. Cynthia not paying attention. So I guess nobody going to get this money tonight. Let me see. Let's see here. First question for part two. Thank you, Scott, but no, that was beautiful, though. I might have to accept that one. I don't know. Let me see, Scott. Let me see. All right, Justice. It's up. I'm going to have to make some things clear, Justice, but yeah, okay, I'll take that. Thank you, Naja. Oh, my God, Naja's in the house. Y'all, y'all done messed up. Y'all let Naja in the house. Oh, my goodness. Hey, little Naja. Paul. Mm. 
Let's see. Whiting said, uh, incorporated, created, were created in 1777, and U.S. Corporation was created by the Act of 1876. Thank you, Whiting. Okay, but the, okay, so good. I got J Scott, Justice, and Nadia. Now, let me explain some things to you all. Uh, Whiting, first of all, let me take your answer. You said United States Incorporated were created in 1777. Now, let us make this clear. When we're talking about uh, the 1777, the original United States of America, we want to include of America, United States of America, because you got to understand the United States Corporation has nothing to do with the, the Americas at all. As a matter of fact, Hold on, let me, I forgot to speak on this, but I'm going to speak on it in the next one. The United States has nothing to do with uh, the Americas. It's in Washington, D.C. I'm going to speak on what Washington, D.C. is because uh, it's not a state. Um, also, when you all are saying USA, uh, I want you all to understand that uh, in 1876, with the Act of 1876, the uh, United States or uh, Britain incorporated several, um, uh, you know, USA and incorporated U dot S dot. It covered and incorporated United States. It incorporated all. When y'all see uh, G A and F L and uh, C A, these abbreviations of the states. Um, it incorporated those. That is their territory. And so what you want to understand uh, uh, when you're writing USA, you're still talking about one of the corporations belonging to Britain. So this is why I'm looking for United States of America. Not, not abbreviated. I need United States of America because that makes it clear that we're talking about the original United States of America and uh, you can do U dot S dot, or you can do, you know, whatever when you're talking about that other corporation. Uh, all right, next question. Let me see, who do we have here? I was first, Diva. No, you weren't, Shali. No, you wasn't. No, you wasn't. Shali running 2G. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love your 2G, Shali. Uh, hold on, let me see. All right, try again, Charlie. All right, um, let's see here. Next question. Oh, what? Y'all better write clearly. I want to see it. What is the difference between a democratic form of government and a republic form of government? Who got it? The difference between a democratic form of government and a republic form of government. Who has it? Thank you, Justice. You, you're trying to get extra credit? Is that what you're trying to do, Justice? I didn't ask that question. Justice is trying to get extra credit. All right, difference between a democratic form of government and a republic form of government. While I'm waiting on them to type that in, I want to say uh, thank you all for joining me Sunday. That was a, uh, you know, a, a real powerful meeting. Y'all be ready for sessions 9 and 10 uh, as we close out this uh, seminar, this 10-week seminar. Uh, for those of you all who want to get into it, uh, once again, you got to qualify. You had to have been in at least four of the previous uh, part two sessions. And you also have to, uh, it's going to be to get into it, $144. So you can go to divalarie.com, and not only can you get the older sessions, you can also get um, the, uh, you can make your donation there for $144. And I sure do appreciate and love all of you all who want to learn and get this knowledge. Let's see what Shali said. Democratic is mob style. Republic 
Here it say e public. What's e public? It's for the people that control. Mm. Mm. Let me think about it. MJ. A democracy is mob rule, few in number. Republic form God given rights. Yes. Yes, MJ. I'm going to take that as MJ. All right, who else we have? Democratic form, mob related republic is your right protected. All right, Tina, I'm gonna have to take that. Uh, let's see who else. Yes, Whiting. Yes, Whiting. Thank you. Who just sent me that? Send, send it again. Thank you, Whiting. Tina. Really, Tina. All right. Big wheels keep on turning. Anime, I done told you. You got a right to send us out, anime. All right, Democratic is mob rule. Republic retains God-given rights. Good, Cynthia. You didn't get it on this one. Hey, Naja, you late. Scott, Democratic form of government. All right, good. So if you got that, the, uh, if you got that, <laughs> Tina said, yay. All right, so if you got that the uh, democratic form of government is a mob ruled government where the, um, you know, there's fewer, the, the fewer in number have no voice and the republic form of government protects your God-given rights. That's what I'm looking for. MJ, Tina, Whiting, good going, good going. All right, nobody has two points yet. Let me keep it moving. All right. Ah, uh, you and they trying to send me some information. Something about make a donation, and if you don't make it, I didn't get it, you and I. You got to put it up here. Uh, let's see here. Now, what I want to know is what was the purpose for creating the United States government? This is two parts. You had to put two parts and one answer what was the purpose of creating it the united states corporation and who owns it what was the purpose of creating the united states corporation and who owns it what was the purpose you and a send me a message and let me know uh at diva Larie and let me know what you got so I can make sure. All right, so what was the, there's a two part question. What was the purpose of creating the United States Corporation and who owns it? All right. I can't see it. You and that, you got to send me uh, my in, in, to my inbox because I can't see that. All right. Let's see here. Charlie says to enslave the people. I need I need an answer based on what I spoke on. But yes, Charlie, but I need it based on what I spoke on. Thank you, Justice. Beautiful, beautifully written, Justice. I appreciate you, Justice. Let's see. Yes, Scott. Thank you, Scott. 
I see. We these are my two contract writers in the house. MJ. Yes, that's correct. With your short writing. Yes, Sandra, but you're a matriarch. 13, and you know the deal. Good, good, Nadja. Um, but you're late. All right, so here's what I want. Um, real quick, let me see who's got it. What what does I want to ask? That's too easy. All right. Owned by so the answer to that, the answer to that question, um, it was created to usurp authority from the United States of America. And it was also, uh, it's owned by Britain. That's what the answer. Created to usurp authority from the United States of America and is owned by Britain. All right, all right, all right. Um, what are the three documents? Let's see who was paying attention. Oh, this one's going to be. Who? The three documents that do not have not one original Amer um, original people of the land name on it. Name those three documents that I said. Not one of the original people's name is on it. What are they? Those three documents that I said, not one of the original people's name is on any of those three documents. Name them. And once again, I want to thank you all for joining me today. It's always a pleasure to see you guys. My people who've been here and have been uh, learning this uh, information and gathering it. We're going through history today. We're going through Divas Court history. Let's see, what do we have? Woo-wee! Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> Y'all are so close, but wrong. But <laughs> oh my god. Uh <laughs> let me see who's gonna get it right. I I need let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I am not going to settle on this because I sat here and I made sure I told you all exactly what these documents are and what's the the uh the titles of them i told you i'm not i'm i want it right as a matter of fact it looks like i might have to give a special prize to the one who does get it right i want it get it right who's gonna get it right and i don't you're not gonna shorten the title of these documents don't shorten it i want the full title I want the full title. It's not okay to shorten it. I want the full title because I sat here and I said this, 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 and I need the full title. Who's going to get it? Because nobody has gotten it yet. Nobody has gotten the full title. And John No. Uh, Tina and Scott, are y'all copying each other's paper? Tina and Scott, are y'all copying each other's paper? 
boy, if I catch y'all in the university copying each other's paper, y'all, it's going to be, I do not want, you are not, you're not going to shorten the name of these titles. I got one person. I got one person. All right, I am Ja. I want you to know you on my special list. All right, MJ is on my special list for this particular, uh, because I'm going to do one more question, but MJ, I love you uh, for this, because the answer is the Declaration of Independence, the Articles of Confederation, and the Constitution for the United States of America the Constitution for the United States of America. You can't just say the Constitution. You can't just say United States Constitution. You're not talking about the original Constitution. The Constitution for the United States. I just sat here and I said for and of. I just told you which is which and why. Y'all want in? See, you didn't pay attention. Davis Court. All right. Next question. Let me see. Right now, MJ has two. MJ, I just love you right now. Uh, Scott has two. All right. Justice has two. Let's see who wants this next thing. Let's see who wants this next one. All right. So here we go. Um. All right, so when we're talking about the Whiting, you lost that one. Sorry, brother. Sorry, you're not getting that. It's already done. Tina said, I don't copy, Diva. All right, well, you better hide your paper, Tina, because somebody's copying off of you. You better, you better put your arm over your paper like this. Like, don't be looking over here. That's what you better do because somebody's copying off of you. Uh, here we go. Um, <laughs> all right, let me see. Because I need a tie break here. I got three people with two points. I need a tie break. I got, because Tina, you might be able to eat, eat. If you get in here, Tina, you might be able to pull something out and make me have to go to another question. I don't know. All right. Um, I asked you, I got, I got two questions. Two-part question. Where does the United States Corporation reside? And is it a state? Tina, somebody else knows you've been studying too. And that's why they're copying off your paper. Where does the United States Corporation reside? And... Is it a state? <laughs> I'm not putting nobody in jail, Sandra. All right, let's do it. Q. 
can and do shinishini. Listen up. Did you answer my question? You didn't answer my question. Thank you, Shali. Stop trying to get extra credit, Kenny, and answer the question. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Naja. Let me see who I, who do I have here? Scott has three. Who else? MJ has two. Naja has two. Well, you know, Scott pulled it out. Scott pulled it out. Scott gets a $25 gift certificate. All right. All right, so thank you all for that on part two. Scott has pulled that out. I got special people right now. I got for session, the part one, I have Whiting is my special guy. MJ is my special guy. $25 gift certificate on uh, part two for Scott. And I have a $25 gift certificate on part one for Whiting. I still got a lot of gifts to give away. So let us continue playing part three. Are y'all ready? Part three, are y'all ready? All right, I'm going over more history. More history. I love this history. Mm, mm, mm. So tasty. So tasty. SF818. Uh, I'm going over SF181. I'm going over who the original Europeans were. Mm. Mm. Who were they? I'm going over Washington, D.C. and where it came from and how it came to be. <laughs> MJ, don't be trying to flatter me talking about I'm your favorite teacher. You just want my gifts. That's all you want. I know the game, brother. But you won't get my gifts anyway. You don't have to flatter. Well, I like the flattery, though. Thank you. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get on this. Why? First of all, Steve's card. Give me 10 minutes. 10 minutes. All right. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to speak on this for 10 minutes and y'all be ready to answer questions. Now, let's go back to the uh, Constitution for the United States of America. Y'all take notes and let's do it. Now, when we're talking about the Constitution for the United States of America, there were three things that were put into that Constitution. All right. Please, Lord, let me remember what they were. All right. First of all, it was that, that, well, okay, forget it. I'm just going to talk about this one thing that's important right now in this session. I'll come back with the other two later. All right, listen up. In the Constitution for the United States, there was land set aside, a 10-mile by 10-mile square radius, all right, a square block. 10 mile by 10 mile square block. That is what was land set aside that it would it would be on the land but not a part of the land. All right. When y'all hear that, it's a it's a block, 
all right 10 miles by 10 miles what you got to understand is anything that's in a box once again the four corner rule anything that's in a box does not truly exist y'all i hope y'all wrote that down because they've been playing this game in your face this whole time and you didn't know it i'm not gonna say it again because that's gonna be one of my questions now that area that territory came to be known as washington dc the purpose of creating this land that was on the in north america but not a part of the united states of america was to have a neutral space so that when there was an issue between the states there would be a neutral place to go to resolve the issue that is why washington dc was created but it was never a state still not a state it is a foreign country That's why when you go to Washington, D.C., you see the people there can be taxed without representation. This is his own country. It's not a part of the United States of America. This is why you have to be careful when you say United States. You got to understand that corporation is not a part of America at all. All right. In understanding that, what we also want to understand I want to go back to what was going on with these people that was coming into the territory. Now, what I need to speak on is I need to go back to the original uh, United States of America and what was going on. Now, some of y'all are going to be mad at me. I just got to put the facts out. Some of y'all moors especially, y'all going to be mad at me, but I have to put the facts out. Y'all need to understand this. So I got time. Let me go into this. When it was around the time of eight, um, the 1500s, 1600s, there was a group of moors that came into the territory of uh, North America. And they had established what we know as counties. These were uh, dark-skinned people. They were melanated people. They came into the land where these original people who were dark-skinned and copper-colored already resided and existed because they had their own constitution and they governed everything from uh, uh, Canada all the way down through and past Texas. Uh, what we know is Texas and actually... Uh, 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 um, Mexico today. We talked about this. Okay. They already had their governments. They already had established things here. But there was another set of moors that came in and they established what we know as counties. There was another set, and these were uh, more of your Morocco's people, but they had broken off from Morocco. They didn't want to have anything to do with the way these people governed. Then we had these uh, another set of Moors coming from Britain that had established these colonies, these colonies that were along the East Coast. They though, So you had two different sets of melanated people in the land where you already had another dark-skinned people. All these are dark-skinned folks that they're telling you about. They keep talking about the European. We can really get on that. Because all of these were dark-skinned people running it. They want you to believe that the Constitution was written by an Albion. No. No. They want you to believe the forefathers, which ain't no damn forefathers, but they want you to believe that the forefathers were Albion. No. These melanated folks. Dark-skinned people. So now you've got the... Uh, these Moors, these Moroccos, who had called themselves Americans because they didn't, what they had decided, they don't want to have anything to do with Britain and their rule. They don't want to have anything to do with that. 
And so this is where you get the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution for the United States of America, which comes from the Iroquois Confederacy. When y'all read it, please go read it. You're going to see how clear it is that everything you see in the Constitution comes from the Iroquois Confederacy of the original people of this land. And so the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution for the United States of America, and the Articles of Confederation, that those were those Moors that created that. How we know this? Because once again, you don't see no original people's name on those documents. All right. Now, let's get into who the original European was. When we go up into 17, uh, 1780s, 1790s, this is when your Morocco, that territory called Morocco, comes into play. And the Sultan, that's when he comes into play. Let's make this clear so I can under, make sure y'all understand what, what really happened. Because we get told that, oh, Morocco owned the territory and they had been running it. Let's make this clear. Morocco didn't come into the picture. When you read any kind of history, you ain't seeing nothing about the, the original people not writing about Morocco. Ain't nobody, none of the declarations, none of the treaties, none of the land patents, nothing speaks about Morocco, nothing. I know y'all gonna be pissed off at me. I'm just giving you the facts. What happened that nobody's telling you about is the fact that Britain was in the land up until the United States of America kicked their butts and said, you got to go. That's where this Declaration of Independence and all this stuff comes from. When Britain, when the United States of America kicked Britain's butt and told them to leave, Britain got bitter. Pay attention. Britain got bitter. And they decided, oh, okay, y'all going to kick me out. Because what that, that was was a hostile takeover. When you got these Moors over here, and they kicking Britain out because Britain had formed all of these colonies. That was some money coming in. And these Moors who formed the United States of America had said, no, no, we, we, we got to kick you all out. Uh, you ain't going to, you know, you, you got a problem now. So once Britain was kicked out of, you know, her own, it was a hostile takeover. Now Britain got bitter and, and they called in the dogs. Who was the dogs? Morocco, Tunis, Algiers, Tripoli, Montezuma. What was they doing? These were all of those states that were pirate states. Pirate states. And what they would do is seize people's ships. They just sailed the seas like pirates do. And then they would bogart other people's territories. But why hadn't they not done that before while Britain was there? Why? Because they were scared of Britain. Britain kicked their ass. Oh, yeah. This, was, this happened back in the 1500s, close to the 1400s, late 1400s, early 1500s, where uh, Morocco kept going into Britain and stealing their people. They would just go, that's what the hell these damn pirates would do. Morocco, Tunis, Algiers, Tripoli, uh, Montezuma, they go and take, just, just, just steal them, just like we're gonna just kidnap your people. That's what they did to Britain and Britain rolled up on uh, Morocco and wore they ass out. That's what I said, ass. They wore them out. And from that point on, Morocco didn't mess with no territory where Britain was. So while Britain was in the United States all the way up into the 1780s, uh, and when there, there's that this, this big war, this revolutionary war, they kicked Britain out. And now Britain got sorry, sour grapes. And they're like, oh, you're going to kick me out? All right. Uh, hey, hey, uh, you know, back then, if they had phones, Britain would have called. Hey, uh, Morocco, y'all, listen, I, we got a treaty with you, but the United States does not have a treaty with you. Y'all are welcome to wear them out however you want to because they are not with us no more. So y'all do what you need to do. This is when Morocco came in. We're talking about the 1780s. This is when Morocco came in. Morocco was wearing United States out at that time then. Yeah, they wore them out. And, Mor and the United States had to beg for a treaty. This is where the Peace of Friendship Treaty comes in. This is where it comes in. I want to get deep. What time is it? Oh, I want to go some deep into this. 
This is where the Peace and Friendship Treaty comes in, where the United States of America, they, they couldn't maintain because uh, Morocco was uh, uh, making them pay tribute. They were making, they were forcing them to pay tribute and they couldn't handle it. They At one point it was like, we're not going to pay tribute. And Morocco's like, oh, you're not going to, not going to pay. Oh, yeah. and, and so finally they had to beg for a treaty. The United States of America had to beg for a treaty. Remember, these are Moors begging for this treaty. These are Moors. Now, I'm not, I, I can, oh, I could go so deep. Do I, do I have time? You and they, how, how I'm looking on time? Um, cause I want to, Ooh, this is so juicy. I tell y'all, um, who were the original Europeans? Let me get on that. And then I'm gonna close it out. Cause I was going to do SF 181. Let me, let me say this to you all. What is being told to us, you know, they want, when they say Europeans, it's Europeans, the Europeans enslaved the original people. Yeah. But who were the original Europeans? Y'all got to understand that Europe at that time was what we know as Africa. Europe included all of that Middle East over there and probably parts of Asia. Europe, well, let me let me show you because I'm gonna pull up this SF-181 form and I'm gonna help y'all, I'm gonna help you to understand how we know who the original European is because y'all think white has to do with uh, skin color. It has nothing to do with skin color. It has to do with status, status, not skin color. So when y'all, I ain't even gonna go into that. Y'all just need to pay attention. At that time, Europe dealt with uh, uh, all of this stuff over here in Middle East and all that. Those were melanated folks. And what we know as uh, England and all, that was really Africa. They switched the terms. <laughs> so switch the rule, flip the script. Y'all got to get this game. This is real history. I'm just trying to break it down to you. Don't be mad at me. Because when y'all understand who was the original European, Moors, Tunis, Algiers, Tripoli, Montezuma. Britain, Britain, those British Moors, they was melanated. Those weren't no Albions. The Albions at that time were all slaves. I ain't even gonna get into that. I could, boy, I might have to come with another session of history next week. Um, Yeah, so let's look at this. I'm looking at this SF-181 form, and I've done a session on this before too, but I just wanna go into this one that's talking about white. See, one of the things we're not understanding is that the term white, and I'm going to uh, uh, end here on this book because I just need to break this down, down, break it, break it down, down. The term white had nothing to do with skin color. And when we look on this SF-181 form, what we're going to see is that white is a person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, which at that time, Europe, that was Africa. That was Africa. The Middle East. The Middle East. That's where them so-called Israelites came from. The Middle East. Ain't no Albion coming out of the Middle East. Or North Africa. North Africa? Wait, that's Morocco. Tunis. We're talking about white. We're talking about melanated people. We're not talking about no Albions. Who were the original Europeans? The Moors. Why is that being kept? We ain't going to get into it. I just want to get you the facts. Uh, I think that's my time. Y'all ready? Or y'all pissed off at me? I still got people watching. I love you, Moors. But I got to break it, break it down, down. All right. All right. If you're ready, if you're ready, where did the Albions, 
Scott Jeffrey asked me, <laughs> where did the Albions come from? Jacob. Let me say something to you. I don't want to ask. I, I don't. I don't want to get into that, you know, Jacob and Esau and all that, because I could break that down too. But I'm going to say this to you. One of the things, and I'm going to get into these questions. One of the things is we spend so much time focused on, oh, they said we came over here in ships and they brought us over here on slave ships. Y'all are not getting that the original slaves in the Americas were the Albions. That's what the term slave means, Slavic. The Albions were the original slaves coming over here. Y'all spend so much time focused on how we supposedly got over here. Ain't nobody stopped to ask the question, how the hell so many of them get over here? How they, we know they ain't from here. America, a Mary means copper color. Ecob means land of the original people. America means land of the copper colored people. Well, I, damn, I wish I had a penny. Because I'm certainly copper colored. Most of y'all out there are copper colored. Likely that we've been here. But we know for certain that the Albions weren't here. Not that I'm dissing the Albion because I love my Albions. I do. But when we look at this farm, by the way, there is no place on here for an Albion. Not one, not Native Hawaiian, not Black or African American. Well, they could be Black because they are. They were the original Black people. Asian American, but they they don't have a real place on this this list. So leave that right there because I can go so deep into this history. But let's get on it. What first question? Who has it? First question. All right. Tell me the dimensions of Washington, D.C. I want the dimensions and the, the geographical look. And as a matter of fact, y'all, wait before you type. Before you type it, I want the dimensions, the geographical look, and what it means. Three parts. Who got it? I want y'all in complete sentences. Look here, Kenny Dushinichini. I, I said, you got to answer my questions because you be trying to get extra credit and you missed the whole answer. No, uh, Ronell. Thank you, Justice White Slaves in America. Yeah, check it out. Uh, I can go deep into this history because I love it. Um... Thank you, May. All right, who has the answer? Ten mile. Yay, Naja. I love me some Naja, even though she be stealing everything from everybody. Uh, I want the full answer, Shali. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, we got a new person, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Cynthia, I don't know. I'm going to come back to you, Cynthia. Because you tried. You was close. Good whiting. All right. So I got my three people. Cynthia, you were close. You said 10 mile by 10 mile square block. It's a foreign country. That is correct, but I wanted to know what the block means. The answer to that question is it is a 10 mile by 10 mile block. Uh, it's in a box, and it means it doesn't really exist. All right, does it really exist on the land? Good L. Ger Geron. 
Jordan. Good, Ronell. All right. All right. Who said a piece of paper in the fire? Who said that? Let me, who? Piece of paper in a file cabinet. All right, Ronell. Keep trying. You're going to get this. All right, next question. Um, why? Ooh. Why was Washington, D.C., or that block of land, why was it created? Why was it created? What is it, its purpose? Why was this 10 mile by 10 mile block created? What was its purpose? Once again, thank you all for joining me. And um, I hope you're enjoying you know, learning. I hope that you're enjoying learning because I'm enjoying doing these sessions. Let's see here. Who has the answer? Naja Close. Naja, close. Oh, Kevin, love you, love you. Where, where did, where did Kevin come from? Where, well, you just pop out of nowhere. Okay, El Jaron, I got you. I right, El Jordan, Jordan. Nabi, no. Thank you, Scott. There we go. We got Kevin, L. Jordan, and Scott. Where'd Kevin pop up from? Nice, Kevin. Let me see who else. Let me see what Tina said. The block of land created for a neutral spot. Good, Tina. Whiting to have neutral area to settle disputes. Yes, the answer to that is that Washington or that block of land was created to settle as a neutral ground to settle disputes between the states. Ronell to fool us into thinking it was a place. All right. I see we got a class clown here. All right. We're going to keep that in mind. Uh, it was created for the purpose to establish the United States Corporation. No, Shali. Cynthia, to establish neutral space to resolve issues between the states. Good, Cynthia. All right, y'all got it. Y'all are getting it. Um, good. Let me, next question. Next question. Um. I spoke about a form. I spoke about a form. I want to know the name of that form. And I want to know uh, what are the three places on that form or the three places on that form where a white person comes from. The, pl the three places named on that form for where a white person could come from. True or false? All white persons are light skinned. <laughs> all white persons are light skinned. True or false? But no, I, I want to know. That's not the real question. The real question is name, the form, and the three places 
that they said <laughs> I see somebody is jacked up with that question. Justice close? No. Ooh, whiting close. Mm, mm mm. Whiting close. Come on, Cynthia. Put your bed in, Cynthia. Ronnell, no. <laughs> Nobody got that answer. Somebody get that answer. Okay, that's it. Cause this this is my third session and I'm out. Uh, who who wants that answer? Let me see what I'm gonna give the person who gives that answer. Let me see. What am I giving you? Who who wants that answer? Kevin. Who want who wants this answer? Nobody wants to win it. No, Shali. What close? <laughs> you and A. I'm sure you do know. Thank you, Naja. Naja. That's it. Naja is my special person for this one. I'm trying to see what I want to do. Um uh, you know, I, I'm trying to, that's, okay. Mm -mm. All right, Naja got it. That, Naja, you my special person on this one. So uh, let me, let me, so right now, Kevin has two, Whiting has one, Naja, Scott, L. Jordan. Uh Yeah, so we're going to, let me, uh, let me, the answer to that, the answer to that was um, the name of the form is SF181. And this is where people be talking about status correction. I'm going to correct my status. This Monopoly stuff right here. This. But the three places where a white person would come from, a white person. Ooh, that's another question. I'm going to have to do it on the next one. Um, Europe. Middle East or North Africa? Europe, Middle East or North Africa? All right. Um, all right. The next question. Did I go over this? Um, I'm trying to remember what I went up. Okay, so the next question is, uh, who? Okay. Good. Why? Because I, I, here's, here we go. Here we go. All right. Here's the question. Here's the question. We want to make sure it's good. All right. Why is it that Morocco never came into North America? And that's what I mean. Because we don't have no. No kind of record of Morocco being in North America. Why do we not have any record of Morocco being in North America before 17, um, 1780? Somebody going to be mad at me. I'm going to just sit back on this one. Why don't we have any kind of record? And I would like to see these records if we got them. of Morocco 
being in the territory of North America before the 1780s. Why? And you don't have to believe me. You can go and look it up. Tell you how Morocco was stealing people from Britain and the beatdown that Britain put on Morocco, which is why they never treaded on territory that Britain claimed and owned. They didn't come in. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm getting excited. I almost told y'all the answer. Why? I did. I think I did tell you that they ain't gonna answer. I hope y'all put it down before I said it. Let me see. Who? Let me see. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Whiting. Kevin, you answered a different question. Tina, you answered a different question. I'm going to come back to those. Got you, Whiting. No, Paul. Thank you, L. Jordan. All right. The answer to that is that Morocco feared Britain. This is just a fact. As long as Britain was in the territory, Morocco was going to stay clear. It wasn't until um, Britain left the territory that Morocco came in and put the United States of America in a headlock. Because Britain sick the dogs on um, uh, the United States of America. Now, Whiting, no, Kevin, you said because Britain got pushed out and they had a treaty with Morocco. Morocco did not have one with the United States, so Britain said go sick them. That's not the question I asked. I asked why didn't Morocco enter the territory? Tina said Morocco sat by and was arguing with the Moors. <laughs> and we eventually had to beg for a treaty. Well, who is we? That's why I say, listen, when you're writing this stuff, stop trying to, with the we and the us and the they, because I'm going to be like, who we? Who is them? Who's they? Who's us? Be specific. But, no. The answer, like I said, is that Morocco never came, did not come into the territory until Britain was got 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 kicked out. All right, Scott has two. L. Jordan has two. Kevin has two. Whiting has two. Naja, you want to get up in here? Where you at? You you slow, Naja. What you doing? No, nah, you got you you special powers right now, Naja. All right, one more question. See if we can get some other people who might want to get in here and answer some questions. All right, one more question and then we out. Uh, no, I got to give away these gifts is what I need to do because I got special people. Uh, one more question. And this is uh, based on this history. Now, these are, again, things that we don't know. Um, all right, let me see which one I want to do. As we are going into... Uh, understanding the history of what really happened and i'm trying i don't because i don't want to you know i know this is you know sensitive stuff because some of y'all have been told one thing and we don't do our research so i'm just giving you the facts that i have um so i'm gonna ask i'm trying not i don't want to be too um 
too rough with my my questions. So let me, I'm just trying to, let me see, which one I want to do. Let me see. The question I want to do for you guys is um, tell me, oh, I said that, the three arrow five of me. Um, as I said, give me a question, you and Nate. You got a question for me that I missed. Let me see if there's a question that I missed. Um, that I missed that I might want to ask because I I want I got a whole bunch of easy ones. Mm. Mm. All right, going back to um, I'm gonna go back up here. I I stated that Washington D.C. is its own country. I'm gonna take a question from from uh from back here. I'm gonna just take one from back here because I know. Um, tell me. Um, good grief! Give me a question. I'm drawing a blank on my question. I'm drawing a blank on my questions, I, and I don't want to ask one that's too easy. So I'm just gonna be hard on this one then. Uh, who enslaved who enslaved the original uh people? Who was it? That's what's gonna be hard. Who is 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 history showing that truly enslaved the original people of the Americas? So you tell me, was it Albion's? Was it other melanated people? Who was it? Who enslaved the original American people? I can't find, I, I don't have another question. I'm going to just do that one and leave it there. Was it Albion's or was it other melanated people that enslaved the original people of the, the land? Who was it? Shali? Scott? Tina? Good Whiting. Good Cynthia. All right. There we go. Uh, I had to had to go there. Sorry, I had to go there for you, but um, that's what I had to do. Damn it! Now I got to do another one. Hold up. Scott has two. No, Scott has three. Okay, Scott. Wait a minute. Did you win one already, Scott? Mm -mm -mm. Scott already won one. So I got to do another one. Uh, Scott has three, and I already got you on that, Scott. I got to do another one. Uh, I need a question, UNA. Let me see if UNA put me a question in here. UNA, where are you? UNA. All right. I don't have any more questions that I can come up with. If I do a quick true and false. Uh, let me see, going back through my notes. All right, thank you. I see somebody. I, I appreciate y'all trying to help a sister out. I thought you and they had my back. I don't know where you and they is. Um, do me a favor, y'all. Tell me real quick. All right, ask that question. Quick, real quick. That's too easy. These questions are too easy that I'm thinking of. All right. What chat? I don't see it. Never mind. All right, look. Just, just real quick. First three people. Who's going to break the tie? This is what I want to know. 
uh, in the Americas? Were they clans or were they tribes? Which one? That's an easy question. See, my, these other questions are too easy. Clans or tribes, which one? First three people. So we can get out of here. First three people. First three people. Clans or tribes. Scott Kevin. Tina. Scott, Kevin, and Tina. All right. Um, let's see. Tina's got two. Kevin's got three. Naja, what happened to you? You what's going on with, with your two G today, Naja? What you doing? All right. Um, Scott, no, wait. Who Scott, you have four, but no, Scott has four, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to have to give this to Kevin because Scott already won. We got a special prize for Scott. So, Kevin, I'm giving you the $25 gift certificate. All right. So, we got for part one. Part one. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me be on. I'm on camera. Hey. All right. Part one. Um, Whiting, you got a $25 gift certificate. Part two. Scott, you got a $25 gift certificate. Part three. Kevin, you got a $25 gift certificate. Now, I had three special people. Whiting, MJ, and Naja. All right. Somebody I need to give an ounce of elderberries to um let's see we got these ounces of elderberries i'm gonna you know what uh who do i want to give that to I, i'm gonna go back through here and i just need to find somebody special who i'm gonna give these elderberries to but for my special people my special people listen i only had a $150 love note set aside. I just had one. But tonight, I'm giving away a $50 love note to all three of my special people. So I'm bumping that up from $150 to $150. Y'all are welcome. So, Whiting, that's $50 for you. MJ, that's $50 for you. Naja. That's 50 for you. Y'all want to get into my um, university, y'all welcome to uh, pass it back. Whatever you want to do, whatever. But that's 50 for you. 50, 50, 50. Uh, Whiting, MJ, and Naja. All right? Uh, $50 love notes for you guys. Uh, that's going to be sent to you. This ounce of elderberry is going to be for... Really, um, I would really, I, I have some new people here, and I really want to honor them. Kevin is one of my newer people. Thank you for joining us, Kevin. Tina, Tina, big whiz, keep on turning. Thank you for showing up, Tina. Tina got a lot of points here. So uh, uh, somebody's going to get it. We're going to send you an inbox and let you know who. But I want to say thank you so much for everybody joining us. Once again, my winners, Whiting, uh, Scott, and Kevin for the $25 gift certificate. Uh, for the $50 love note, uh, Whiting, MJ, and Naja. I love you. Thank you for studying. All of y'all, I love you. Y'all keep studying. Keep learning. And if y'all want to do a donation, y'all welcome to do it at uh, divalarie.com d-i-v-a-l-y-r-i.com divalarie.com um, so we can continue to keep this thing going and have a lot of fun and um, you know give back give back you know it's just fun to give back and thank you all for playing and thank you all for your love don't forget 
every Sunday or this Sunday, the next two Sundays, eight and nine, we're going to be uh, at two o'clock uh, for the first part. And then three to five in UNA University, two o'clock on UNA America, three to five in UNA University. If you want to get into eight and nine, there is $144 All right, for my 144,000 folks that's going, oh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, $144, donate at dblarie.com. And also, um, don't forget, we got to have four classes, four of the part two sessions that you have been attending. And if you don't have them, go to dblarie.com and you can get them from there. All right. All right. I love y'all. Thank y'all for playing. Uh, I'm going to see y'all here next week. Diva.